Hello. Nomad Sculpt Efficient and Quick Part 9. This video is about creating base meshes, low poly base meshes. Very quick. Okay, <laughs> I hope so. Let's go to the Nomad Sculpt app. Um, these are a few examples. Um, okay, let's start. I delete this. Go to the front view and now we got a clear scene. Um, first, um, okay, let's start. We need the tri planner tool in the primitives. Uh, tap on it and these are the basic steps now, um, how it works. Um, you can hear in the in the topology, you can adjust um, your tri planner mesh. Um, let's start with a pixelated low poly version. Um, reduce here the topology to a counter like yes, um, 17, 16, or something like this. And now let's test the smoothness. When you, you adjust the smoothness um, slider, um, and go back to zero, then your um, object is um, low poly pixelated um, as one pixel. Um, okay. And the next uh, important thing is um, in the tools, you can use the transform tool and here you can adjust with the handles um, the dimensions of the of the planes. Now you got um, only a one pixel yes object. Okay. When you at the left side there's a mask button. When you hold it and swipe up or swipe, then the mask is clear. Okay, I'm now in the front view and I'm using the mask now. Um, adjust the radius of the mask and now you can uh, paint here your object like this. And the, the thing is to create the a complexer objects is to use multiple tri planner layers. Um, in the scene menu, you can use the duplicate function, and now you can use the gizmo and bring the next layer of your object in, in position, and you you can go back to the first one and when you're fine with it, uh, you can validate it. Then it's no more adjustable. Um, okay, but validate the object and go back to the uh, next part you want to create. And now hold the mask button and swipe up. And go in the view, front view and create the next parts with your mask like this and adjust the radius and here you can brush you can use unmask and delete parts and you can hide also the, the other um, object. And it's also possible to, you, uh, to make it additive um, um, or uh, use uh, the backside of the, the object. Yes, you can test it yourself. But the additive doesn't really work in this um, Okay.
Okay. And so you can build uh, one um, layer after the other. Uh, duplicate the next one, use uh, the gizmo, bring it in position, um, sorry, and go back, validate the object and mask, uh, go back to your active and swipe up and clear the mask and use the mask again and create the next part. Um, and don't um, brush over the borders. Um, there's um, sometimes, um, yes, the border when you draw in the uh, over the border, then um, um, the tri planner needs um, an, another view. And yes, and so you can build the objects, and this works uh, also for um, organic uh, objects, um, layer by layer. Okay. Let's um, create a, a man and here we need a little bit more topology and uh, I thought um, about um, 70 and a smoothness about 9 uh, works fine and clear the mask. And now you can use the transform tool again and create your body. Now, okay, let's use a mask, reduce the radius and uh, let's create the head reduce the radius a little bit more, the neck and the body like this. And in the side view, you can use the transform and scale it here a little bit. Okay, and um, in the scene menu you can duplicate it, go back, validate and go to the next one and swipe up. Okay, and go to the front view, mask, radius, now you can <laughs> A little bit too big. And um, you can hide um, the other one. And so you can uh, create um, the next part, uh, for example, the legs uh, on another layer to keep um, the meshes separate and to adjust everyone for its own. And the next one, ah, symmetry of ah, sorry, I forgot to clear the mask. Mask, clear, now it's clear, okay. I hope it works now, yes. What 
second now. Uh, you can use the lock function. And here, place your, your foot and use the mask. Why does the mask not work? I hope you understand. <laughs> um, with the transform, you can adjust it a little bit more. And you can adjust it uh, later with a, with a move brush and so on. And you can also use a gizmo to bring some uh, parts in position um, to look fine. It's about the, the technique it works. And now let's validate all the objects. Validate, validate, validate. And oh. And now we can mirror it. And now we got two. Parts and select all and simple merge it. And um, now you can adjust your mesh because we are very low poly, it's very easy to adjust it. Um, you can use the move brush and adjust the head, the shoulders, this one, and with the inflate brush, it's possible with a sub to make the arms a little bit thinner or, or the legs. And with a move, you can bring everything in position like you want. Just the radius. And one, one thing is uh, also important, um, um, with low poly, it's possible to use um, the mask, for example, the cell mask, mask this part. You can use the blur function. And uh, now when you use uh, the gizmo, you can adjust uh, the head like you want. Um, and every part you can mask out and blur and adjust it. And yes, when I'm at this point, um, I'm starting, I'm starting to, to sculpt. Yes, and that's a technique. It it works, and it's a re real nice. Um, um, to create the objects like this, um, move tool inflate, and yes, makes the legs a little bit bigger, or here the arms. Move. create such <laughs> figures. Ah, I can't stop. And sometimes 
something nice appears on the screen. Okay, have fun with sculpting. Ciao.